Like all of the Vapotec reactors, the ion locates on the front of the system, and you can remove the reactor from the body like this. Now I've removed the reactor, I'm going to disassemble it so that I can change the configuration inside. To do that, I first need to unscrew the clamp. The clamp provides compression to the two plates, which enables you to operate the reactor at pressure. First, I'm going to remove the top electrode carrier plate. This plate has peak inserts on the fluid inlet to make sure that your reaction mixture doesn't contact the conductive surface until you're ready to begin the electrochemistry. Then I'm going to remove the first of the electrodes. This is a stainless steel electrode with fluid inlet holes. Vapotec are able to provide 19 different electrode materials, but this reactor has been designed so that any material that is in the commercially available 5 cm by 5 cm size and 0.1 mm thick to 1 mm thick can be used in this reactor. Next is the membrane. The membrane in the electrochemical reactor determines the flow path that your reagent solution takes over the electrode. We have a range of different flow paths available and we have a range of different thicknesses of membrane so that you can choose the thickness and the electrode separation that is most suitable for your chemistry. The membrane fits onto the locating pins on the electrode plate. Finally, I'm going to replace the bottom electrode. Again, this can be any material that is commercially available in the 5 cm by 5 cm area. I'm going to replace it with a carbon electrode. The electrode is located by these two pins here and just sits flat on the bottom of the electrode carrier. Next, I'm going to put in a different membrane. And finally, I'm going to replace the top electrode with the fluid inlet holes. Now I replace the top electrode carrier and return the entire assembly to the clamp. By tightening the clamp, I compress the two seals and the reactor is able to run and at pressure. When you've reassembled the reactor and you've clamped it tight, the whole assembly slides back into the housing. And then you attach your power cables and you're ready to run.